Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Come on in. It's time for soap. Good morning, y'all. Come on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in for Soap on today. My brothers and sisters, today, very briefly, we want to talk about how to turn pain into something positive. How to turn pain into something positive. First Peter chapter 4 verses 12 through 19 says beloved do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test as though something strange were happening to you but rejoice in so far as you share Christ's sufferings that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or as a meddler. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. So how do we turn our pain into something positive, Sister Thompson? How do we turn our pain into something positive? What will I do with the pain in this life, Sister Sandy Williams. You see, whether pain is physical or emotional, it can be used for good to make a positive impact on others. Number one, pain can bring clarity to what is most important in life. Yes, pain can create an emotional fog and make it hard to think straight but it can also force you to an off-ramp in life for a while that can help you take stock of your priorities. As I've been working through the pain and fog in life, I'm also finding some clarity on things that are important in life. It's been a, a good time to take stock of my usage of, of time and resources to ensure I am being a good steward of what's been entrusted to me and my family. So number one, pain can bring clarity to what is most important in your life. Pain can bring clarity to what is most important in your life. Not only that, but pain can also, my brothers and sisters, help us to, 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 to form stronger relationships. Pain can be a bonding agent. 
Pain allows you to identify with another person who is going through something very similar. Empathy is an important character trait of a loving leader. When you empathize with others, you experience similar feelings. You experience uh, similar thoughts and emotions and then take action based on what you've experienced to meet the needs of others. It's often the things we have in common, Sister Val, that create our deeper bonds. Our pain helps us to figure out who our friends are. Number three, pain can change your trajectory. Past pain can motivate us to look outward instead of just inward. Sometimes, Sister D, pain is paralyzing and we get very self-focused as we deal with it. But as we do, pain, especially relational pain, can eventually help us to see the need to work towards helping others. Sister Thompson, maybe it's breaking a cycle of dysfunction or brokenness in a family tree that we've experienced or picking up the pieces from an addiction we battled that has hurt more than just ourselves. Eventually, we face a choice. Stay focused on self or be motivated to help others. Not only that, but pain can give us credibility and opportunity to help others. You see, when we have endured pain that we've never experienced before, we have the power of empathizing with others going through the same pain, not just those suffering in general. As a result, others are aware that we know what they are going through and will listen to what we have to say, perhaps even more so than others who try to speak into their lives but haven't shared their pain. Also, pain can give us a future message of hope to others. As we deal with the pains of our past or present, God gives us hope and healing that can become a very meaningful message to others. The pain can become a purpose for our voice as well as the message of our hope. Our voice proclaims to the world. In the end, our pain becomes our testimony. The reality is, my brothers and sisters, we cannot have a testimony if we have not had a test. But once we have been through the fire, as our text said in 1 Peter, once we have been tried by the fire, we can begin to understand that God is working on something. God is developing something. God is doing something through us and in us. And so we should not think it a strange thing when we go through the fiery trials. That's right, Sister Linda Thompson. No pain, no gain. <laughs> I like that. No pain, no gain. There was a purpose in our pain. And so we pray today that God would help us to keep on keeping on. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. Father, we come this morning looking to the hills from which cometh our help, knowing that all of our help comes from you. Lord, we need you in our world. So many people are hurting. So many people are suffering, God. So many people are experiencing heartbreak. And so we come to you this morning, calling upon you, God, that you would minister to us, God, that you would speak to us, God, that you would use us like only you can. 
God to turn something positive, bring something positive out of our pain. We give you glory, we give you praise, we give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank God. My brothers and sisters, if this soap has been a blessing to you, go ahead, like this post, go ahead and share this post. We thank you all so much for your time. God bless you and keep you till next time. Peace. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual morning worship service with Tamel. Thank you so much for logging on and joining us today. Now stay tuned for your morning video announcements. Please join us live on Facebook or YouTube for the following weekly opportunities. Sunday, prayer at 9 o'clock a.m., Sunday school at 9.30 a.m., weekend worship at 10.40 a.m., Mo Kids at 10.40 a.m., each Sunday except the first Sunday, Mo Youth at 10.40 a.m. each Sunday except the first Sunday, Monday, Soap Devotion at 9 o'clock a.m., and Man Cave Men's Group at 7.30 p.m., Tuesday, Prayer at 6.30 a.m., Soap Devotion at 9 o'clock a.m., and Leadership Training at 6.30 p.m., Wednesday, Soap Devotion at 9 o'clock a.m. and Mo Life Discipleship Training at 6 o'clock p.m. Thursday, Soap Devotion at 9 o'clock a.m. Friday, Soap Devotion at 9 o'clock a.m. And Babe Cave Women's Group at 7.30 p.m. Now for some upcoming events. Join us August 30th for Mission Sunday. September 6th, Communion, September 13th, Season Saint Sunday, September 20th, Building Fund Highlight and Economic Justice Sunday. October 4th, we will be celebrating our pastor's anniversary and that is also our Communion Sunday. October 11th, we'll be celebrating the ministry team leadership and volunteers. October 18th is Pink Sunday. And October 25th is Anti-Domestic Violence Sunday. November 1st, Political Action and Communion Sunday. And November 8th, Harvest Day. This concludes your Sunday video announcements. Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay connected with us. Please remember to wear your mask, exercise social distancing, Wash and sanitize your hands, and most importantly, stay safe. Until next time, God bless.